Hey guys, welcome back. DeFi, DJ, and Strip, and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Strip Coast, dropping knowledge bombs on all Forex Shark related projects. And in today's video, going to be doing a comparison of uh, how the market has performed for other altcoins against Drip. Because reading the comments, basically, uh, as of this video, the, the farms are still paused and no information has been revealed. So there's been people in the comments um, commenting basically that the, they're not worried, but the major thing is how does this affect Drip? And that got me thinking, it's like, yeah, what is um, the case of Drip and how do we see it playing out? And what about those people that got in when Drip was at its all time high and then the farm paused and we've seen nothing but, you know, red candles basically. And that reminded me of this video I did here, if you didn't check it out, of uh, uh, me versus the Schillers, meaning um, I looked at my stats and from my video until this day when I released this, what would have happened if somebody followed exactly in my footsteps? Would they be wrecked? Because this is the only project that I promote. So um, I wanted to look at, well, if this is the only project I promote, what also would have happened to anyone else in the market during this time? Because Forex has said on his, a couple of AMAs that we are down the same percentage as everyone else when you account for yield. So I wanted to actually do the numbers and find out if that is actually true. So you guys know me, decided to make a spreadsheet. So for this example, I went to CoinMarketCap and uh, TradingView to get some numbers. So CoinMarketCap to get uh, some currencies that we can uh, look at, not currencies, crypto tokens and coins like Bitcoin, ETH, uh, BNB, XRP, and ADA. I just picked those because uh, they're at the top, so why not? And oh, also SHIB. I threw SHIB in here as a meme point. So it's like, yeah, how would you have done with a meme point? And then um, I went to TradingView to get the all-time highs from here. Uh, that way I have it all from one location, even though TradingView pulls in data from different spots, it's just the easiest. So the numbers could be off by like a fraction of a percent, depending on what site pulled in the data, but it's close enough. Then of course, I went here on drip.formulate to uh, extrapolate it out and find out how much I would've paid in gas so that this is as accurate as possible. So let's take a look here. So this is uh, the initial, what we would be looking at. So I took the all time highs because this is implying that you bought at the absolute worst time in any of these um, markets. So the drip all time high was on January 26. And that was at $160 according to TradingView. And now as of today, you'd be down 96% and 268 days have passed since then. BTC, ETH and BNB all on the exact same day hit their all time highs and you're down 72%. Uh, uh, from the top two and 60% uh, roughly on BNB. Then ADA, XRP, and SHIB all kind of spiked beforehand at different intervals, but down uh, an average or 66, 89, and 88. So I took the average of these six minus drip, and that gives me down 74% if you would have invested in any of these um, tokens at their all time highs specifically. So again, the absolute worst case scenario. If you had got in any time after that, of course, you won't be down as much, but this will be the worst case scenario for any of these during this last bull run and this cycle that we're in. Then I decided to look at, so what does it look like in numbers? I decided to use 2,500. That just sounded like a great uh, amount to, to look at. So if you had to put 2,500 in drip, your current faucet value would be, I'm sorry, not the faucet value, your current value as if this were just a regular trading token, maybe you didn't stake it, would be $88.13, meaning you lost $2,411. All the others fared relatively well. Um, Ada and SHIB actually got hit pretty hard as well. Um, as you saw up here, it was 88 and 89 versus 96. So all of those are down. So none of those, none of this are up. We're, we didn't make any money on anything, no matter what. But the power of the drip faucet, specifically relating to the daily compound interest, is that if you had to purchase that, 2,500, you would have got 1,500, 15.625 drip. You would have ended depositing 14 due to the taxes. You would have had 268 days that passed between the investment and it would have cost $133 to hydrate. Your drip balance as of 268 days later would be 177 drip. And now your faucet value would be just under $1,000. So you've lost, when you count in the gas hydration cost, um, you've lost $1,633, which actually means you're down 62%. So yes, you're down, but you're down 
you're, you're better than the average market. So Forex is correct that we have indeed done on par, but actually better when you account for yield with drip um, if you would have bought at the all-time highs. Now, if I had taken this back to 8 November, like the rest of this, oh man, you would have got drip at a steal and you'd be up like significantly better. But this is looking at the worst case scenario. Now, the question is going from here. Just a quick message. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. This helps bring brand awareness to the channel as well as all Forex Shark related projects. Thank you. Is one, did you actually hydrate all those days so that you're in a better position? And two, do you believe in the drip faucet going forward? If you do, then this will come back. And the other good news is that it doesn't take as much to get that back. So right now at a $5.60 drip price, you have the 1,000 uh, faucet value. But if you just double that to $10, $11.20, you now have a $2,000 faucet value and you're only down uh, like 20%. But in order for you to be down 20% on any of these, they have to come back aggressively. So, um, that's the difference. Compound interest is actually truly the eighth wonder of the world as is attributed to Einstein. Um, not sure if he actually said that or not, but um, yeah, I just wanted to run the numbers, let you guys see it for yourself because that is impressive. I mean, this is nothing to call home about that you're still at a loss of 62%, but you did outperform the market. And right now in the bear market, nobody is winning unless you're doing shorts and very few people know how to short the market and, and win or you uh, found a nice place to stake some yield um, in a farm and it didn't happen to be <laughs> on the, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank right now, um, Terra Luna ecosystem and you didn't lose it all. So <laughs> in a bear market, it is tough for literally everyone and it's very hard to make money. So that is another reason why I think the, ne the sentiment is kind of negative right now with the pause but as i showed you guys already um you may not have known but now you know how to unstake your capital and yes it's probably too late now but at least going forward you can uh understand how to emerge the unstake if you want to in any farm out there in crypto so um all in all you have lost some opportunity cost if you were in the farms or whatever the case may be but again if you look at the market um chances are you would have been somewhere else and lost money i mean maybe we got lucky of course but when the entire market is down an average of 74%, then the odds are not in your favor that you would have been able to put that money to work somewhere else. But of course, it's your money and you would like to have done that. And you just maybe did not know you could have, you know, emergency unstaked when the farms paused initially, nor did you know that it would be paused another three, four, five, six, seven months. But knowing is half the battle. So at least on my channel, you are informed and educated. So that is my goal as your drip coach. So I hope you found this information valuable. This is under 10 minutes, man. Hit the like, subscribe, help a brother out. You know the HBO special. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya.